Welcome back to the Dry Fire Journal. This is day 236, and this is part three on a three-day three thing we've been doing on what we're paying attention to and what we are aware of. The general idea, if you're just joining this, is that your eyes can pay attention to something and also be aware of something else, but it cannot, or excuse me, your, your brain cannot uh, pay attention or give you good attention to two things that you're seeing at once. We can pay attention to something and be aware of something else. So uh, here's what we're going to work on. We have talked about putting our sights over here on target and then transitioning our eyes over here to this target right here. And I'm hoping that I'm filming in such a way that you can see my eyes. But as I transition, I don't want my eyes to snap and then have my gun snap. I want to have my eyes... Uh, shift what they are giving attention to and move my firearm in such a way that I can be aware of my sights as my eyes are moving. Um, so we have done this two-handed. Now I want to give you two more ways to do this and this is not about how you shoot. This is about telling you what your brain is capable of telling you through your eyes. First, uh, two hands on the gun and transition left to right. Transition right to left. Transition high to low, excuse me, low to high. And then transition high to low and then go at diagonals. And repeat that. Now, do the same thing, mirror image and transition right to left, transition left to right, transition low to high, transition high to low, transition at a diagonal, and then do it with one hand, do it with a weak hand, weak hand only. Pardon my morning stuff. Uh, excuse me. The whole point of switching your hands off Again, it's not about how you shoot this. It's about showing you that the sights of the gun have not changed. And even when the sights are traveling with a little bit less stability, because you switched hands, because you're going weak hand only, uh, they don't have to be super smooth for you to be able to be aware of them and where they are in space as they are traveling, trailing your eyes um, all the way to target. So, give this some work. I think you'll be surprised. I actually think you'll be really amazed at what your eyes are capable of being aware of as you simply do this little transition drill. And if you want to get really brave, widen out the distance between uh, where you're starting and where you're finishing up. Let me know how this goes, and I'll see you tomorrow.